Welcome back to HATV for another holiday recipe. I'm really glad you could join me today. And uh, today we're going to make hallelujah butter. You know, people ask all the time, what can I put on my toast? Or what can I put on my popcorn? Well, today I'm going to show you what you can put on your corn or your popcorn or your bread or uh, any place you'd use butter. It's a wonderful recipe, keeps a long time. I've kept it up to a month in the refrigerator. Good luck keeping it that long. Oh, it's delicious. So let's get into it today. I'm going to use the Vitamix and we're going to also use the Citrus Star Juicer today. And uh, I'll be serving this on this lovely uh, Dakota bread made by the Great Harvest Bread Company. And what I like about this company is although it's a bought and bread, they don't, they don't make it until they're ready to ship it. So it's fresh as it can get when it gets to your house. Sorry, I don't have all the information on where to get it, um, but you can probably find it online. So let's get started. This recipe, uh, you can use either uh, a cup of nuts, and I'm using a half a cup of pine nuts and a half a cup of macadamia nuts, and I like those two together. They give a real creamy consistency. So these nuts have been soaked overnight and drained. I'm just going to add those to my Vitamix. The next ingredient I'm going to add is oil. You see I have two kinds here. I have Udo's oil, which contains all the omega-3, 6s, and 9s. And a great way to get those 3, 6s, and 9s in your diet is in the butter. Um, that way you don't have to taste it. It doesn't taste like oil. And I'm using, so I'm using two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil and two tablespoons of Udo's oil this morning. Now, if you don't have Udo's oil, you certainly can use two table or four tablespoons of olive oil. It won't hurt the recipe a bit. I just add the omega because I like to get my omegas in there. Okay, then we're going to add some freshly extracted uh, lemon juice this morning. I need a couple of tablespoons. So we're going to... Sure beats the old-fashioned way, doesn't it? But if that's all you have, that works. Okay, then I'm going to just add a couple of tablespoons of uh, fresh lemon juice to my nuts here and my oil. And to that I'm going to add uh, a half a cup of distilled water. And I'm going to add a half a cup of organic raw coconut oil, another very good oil for your body. Um, some people even use it on their face and their hands. It's a great oil. It's not an oil you want to cook with, however. We always eat it raw. Okay. Then we're going to add a teaspoon of Celtic sea salt. And then I'm going to add a pinch of turmeric. Turmeric is a wonderful seasoning um, to give it a yellow color. But more than that, turmeric is one of those great cancer fighters. And so you can add this seasoning any recipe that you want to add a little yellow color to. So we just need a pinch. I'm just going to sprinkle some in here. And that's all there is to it except to, to make it be butter. So I always start my, this is a Vitamix a Turbo Blender 4500, and I'm going to start it, always start it on low, and turn it to high. So we're You want to make sure you don't have any lumps in your butter, so I let it run quite a while. Looks nice and creamy. Oh, and it makes, smells delicious. You know, you always eat with your eyes before you eat with your mouth. And my eyes are saying, oh, isn't that delicious? Let me pour this bowl over here. See how creamy that is? What's nice about this butter is 
if you put this in a butter mold and put it in the refrigerator, it'll harden uh, just like real butter. And as you can see, it's very soft right at the moment. You, it melts like butter. You can put it on, like I said, I melt it and put it on air popped popcorn sometimes. If I get pop, want to hanker, have a hankering for popcorn, we used to have popcorn every Sunday night uh, as a child growing up. So uh, sometimes I want popcorn and, and butter. And this butter is so versatile and so delicious. I just have to put some on some of this bread. See how nicely that spreads? Isn't that beautiful? Well, I tell you, it looks like butter. Let me taste it. Mmm. Wonderful. Mmm. You'll like this. Excellent. When my mother came to visit a few my mother, who is 89, came to visit me. And remember, I grew up on a farm in Iowa where we had real butter. And I made this butter, and Mother tasted it, and she said, that's the best butter I've ever tasted. So if it's good enough for my mother, it's good enough for you. Thanks for joining me today. Hope you have a great day, and I'll look forward to seeing you next time.